Hello and welcome back to the Journeyman Career Mode. Once again here with Santos Laguna. We uh, missed out in the, uh, the last video to get ourselves a trophy. So we go again. We're here in the Apertura and we start off this competition all over again. 17 games and then the tournaments. And we need to win a trophy. I'm going to put it down here. If we win one trophy, we can finally move on to group number four in South America. Still looking for that international job offer. It can't be too far away. I mean... The star rating of this team is starting to grow. We'll have a look at that shortly, and hopefully that uh, starts bringing in some international job offers. Um, but let's jump into this. There's fresh free agents out there. Hopefully we can uh, bolster this team a little bit more and really push them on to uh, a serious position here in Mexico and uh, start winning some trophies. Right, so let's just have a quick look at where we are sitting star rating wise. Um, we don't want to look at the Netherlands though, that's for sure. Let's go across here to, uh, where are we? Mexico, Mexico. Okay, so America's a four star team. Uh, they are performing quite well. Three and a half, three and a half, three and a half, uh, three and a half, three and a half, three, four, three and a half, three and a half, three, three and a half. And we sit as a four-star team, so we should be a force to be reckoned with. I've got, I'm pretty sure the board's going to uh, put some high objectives on us this season. Uh, but now that we're a four-star team, hopefully that means that uh, some of these international job offers do start coming in and, and we can push on it and get a trophy here. So let's jump into it. Transfer window is open. Let's see if we can find some free agents to really bring this team together and uh, start pushing on to try and find a trophy and hopefully an international job offer. Right, so budget-wise for this season, 26 million. We're probably going to need some more wages if some of those big players do become available. So about 23 million. Uh, we'll be able to get some free agents with that for sure, and hopefully some of our former teams decide to sell off some players. There are some out there floating around, so we could go and make a purchase if I think that they will fit this team. But uh, you know, 23 million at this stage. Uh, we'll see if we can sell off, you know, Jackie Chan Singh and that the, the the players that the board signed at the end of last season, and, and try and generate a little bit more money. We've got the preseason tournament as well, and uh, hopefully. We've got enough cash there that if a big star player does come up for grabs, we can swoop in and bring him across here to Mexico. Right, board objectives. Um, yeah, it's more youth academy stuff. Brand exposure, keep a streak of 90% attendance. Continental success, well, that is high, and they want us to play the bloody uh, the cup, which doesn't exist actually in FIFA. I have mentioned this to the, de the dev team, and hopefully they can rectify that. Uh, they want us to become the playoff champion in both uh, the Apertura and Clausura. So uh, high expectations and uh, keep the, the salary growth. Well, don't care about that. But we need to win a trophy in one of these two competitions this season. We need to start moving on. We're into 2023 now. The next World Cup is, what, 2026? So we need an international job offer soon. Uh, so we need to get this star rating up so hopefully a job offer comes in and um, we can start actually preparing for a World Cup scenario. Right, there was a loan offer for Pavlenka, which we didn't care about. And there's a big offer in here for Borja Bastion. Now, uh, we've got strikers coming through that are almost at this rating. He's 30 years of age. It is Club America, though, so I don't really want to sell to a rival. But he is going to start depreciating in value. So if we can get a decent amount of coin here for him, uh, it might be worthwhile for the future. 13.7. Because they are a rival club, I'm going to go big, and we're going to send a delegation and try and get as much money out of them as possible. Right, we're in the Invitational Cup for the preseason tournament. It's New York City, and it's a 1-0 victory. Right, we've got a few things to deal with here. Callum Griffiths has been approached by FC Barcelona, 3 million from the Wellington Phoenix. We'll look at him shortly. A transfer offer from Fenerbahce for uh, Rivas for 5.1, and they've agreed 20 million for Baston. I think we need to uh, agree to that. Right, 20 million for Baston, I'm gonna accept. So that's some big coin in. Uh, Rivas, I mean, 27 now. We've got young players coming through. Let's see if we can uh, delegate and get some coin here for Rivas. Right, so Callum Griffiths has been approached by FC Barcelona, a 71 overall centre forward with a really shit weak foot. Doesn't really look that promising to be fair, so I'm gonna let him go to Barcelona, and if he does grow, uh, we can always go in and try and purchase him later in the career mode. Right, the reserves are gonna go out here against Quertaro uh, in this preseason tournament, and we get a 2-1 victory. Right, interest shown in Tama Abubakar from the Western Sydney Wanderers. We'll check that out. And an offer in for Abaharano. We want to get rid of him. Right, Tama Abubakar, centre back CDM from Egypt, 69 overall, six foot three. We could definitely utilise a centre back, but he just doesn't really have the qualities that we're looking for. I've got a feeling that there will be free agents that are better than Abubakar, so uh, I will let him manoeuvre on, and uh, we'll see what comes back from the free agent scouts. Right, taking on Atlas here in the third game of the preseason tournament for a 2-1 victory. 
which sees 580 grand put into our budget. Right, Borja Bastion has been sold for 20.1 million, 15 and a half million into our transfer budget. We now have the semi-final of the Invitational Cup. We come through with a 2-1 victory, but an injury to Cook. Right, Bejarana has been sold, 600 grand. We pick up another 870 for our performance in the preseason tournament, and the injury is just seven days for Cook. Right, so uh, 5.4 million, I'm happy to accept that one for Rivas. And we now have the final here against New York City, which it is a victory, 2-1. Right, George Harrison has some interest from Stuttgart. We'll take a look at that. And uh, 1.4 into the kitty for our preseason tournament. Right, so George Harrison, a 67 overall centre back, six foot tall from New Zealand. Uh, strength, jumping, sprint speed looks okay. Still 20 years of age. Uh, we definitely need some centre backs to come into the club. So, uh, you know what? What are they offering? They've put in now uh, 2 million, they've put in three. Let's go in and grab George Harrison. Right, three million we've paid for him, but uh, let's see if we can get him on the line with some wages. Right, so we get our man here, Harrison, and um, some good physical attributes. He's got a bit of work to do defensively, but uh, definitely can help us out. We only had two recognized center backs at the club, so we were desperate for some uh, defensive strength. So let's hope that Harrison can help us out here in Mexico. Right, transfer offer for Quinonez, and I'm um, just gonna accept this deal. Transfer offer in for Jackie Chan Singh, accept. Right, Rivas has been sold, 3.9 million, and we get an offer in here for Santos Rodriguez from Nottingham Forest for 6.4. Now, uh, he's our starting left back, and we've got him and Pavlenka both at 72, so we could cash in, but we probably want to keep him for now, so I will reject this offer. Right, so I've got some scout reports back for a few free agents here, and we definitely need to bolster this team. Uh, Ilzad Vassin is a striker at 69 overall with low, low work rates. Probably not what we need. We've got a couple of decent strikers. Uh, Soon Min Kim looks okay, 20 years of age, medium, medium, three star, three star, 69 rated. Uh, and then we've also got Claudio Pavani Lamas from Brazil, uh, six foot three, um, you know, just a well rounded sort of player. Definitely someone we want to bring in just to uh, help out our squad depth. Uh, Mohanedo with a five star weak foot, but the low, low work rate's probably not the best. Mix Williams is a centre back, five foot 11. Um, could be okay if we need some extra depth. But then we've got uh, Okonomu from Greece, 72 overall centre-back. Uh, definitely going to go after this lad. Uh, so I think uh, Pavani Lamas and Oikonomu uh, are the two lads to try and bring in. 6 foot 5 in Delmira Nunez, uh, 69 overall right back, left back. Yeah, he could be handy as some backup. There's also a goalkeeper here, but I don't think we need him just yet. And... Um, yeah, not sure about the CDM. So let's get in the, the center back here and the CDM. Right, so we've signed up Pavani Lamas and uh, 71 overall CDM. You know, definitely can help us out. Can play center midfield as well. And we've also signed in Oikonomu, uh, 72 overall. He's only five foot seven, but uh, I've got a feeling he'll be able to jump enough. Yes, 83. Hopefully he can help us out in uh, some sticky situations. Um, just a center back though, pretty short. Uh, is jumping you know, is really going to be called upon here. Right, interest shown by Real Madrid in Jihu Jill from Samsung. And uh, Singh has been sold. So let's go and have a look here at Jihu Jill. Right, Jihu Jill is a right back, left back, 69 overall, six foot two with a high attacking work rate. Uh, Real Madrid want a piece of him and I'm going to let him go. Uh, and hopefully he can grow into something special and maybe we can pick him up in the future. Right, Jose Luna has got a one-year loan offer here from Gamba Osaka. He's fairly low rated, so it might be worth sending him out. Let's uh, see if we can get a loan deal done. Right, final scout reports are in here from Mexico. Lissandra Lucero, 74-94, and Isidoro Campos, 70 90, 92 will make their way into the academy. Right, we are in Poland. Only one player here is Josef Adam Schink. Oh, man, those weird letters. I mean, I just, I'm just i going to murder names left, right, and center. But let's bring him into the academy at 77 to 94. And we are in Egypt. Taha Amos, uh, 70 to 94. Really low overall and low uh, valuation. I'm going to let him slide. Right, time to send our scouts out once again. Make sure you're leaving me comments with new countries down below. Still here in Mexico, of course, so we'll head off for any player. And next up, well, we've got uh, Sam Coulthard. Uh, I've taken these. I am pre-recording because I need to get a few episodes done so I can concentrate on the PSG series. Uh, so I've gone back and uh, looked at some of the other higher-ranked uh, comments. So this one's from Sam Coulthard to go to the Korea Republic for an attacker. 13 thumbs up. 
And the next one is from Random Boy who wants us to go to Sweden for a playmaker. 11 thumbs up. Right, interest shown in Jan Fredriksson by Stuttgart, 26 million. So he must be a big name player at the Wellington Phoenix. The Luna loan deal has been rejected and Kanonius has been sold for 475 grand. Let's go and have a look at Fredriksson. Right, Jan Fredriksson is the Norwegian goalkeeper, 80 overall. Uh, what's he got going on there? 72 reactions and definitely, definitely someone that could come in and play a first team role here. Uh, and it would mean that Pavlenka probably gets shipped out. But uh, 26 million, we've got the money to bring him in. Six foot two from Norway. And uh, I think this might be a really good move for us because he's only 20. We can train him up and uh, he's got magnificent hair. So let's get him across here uh, if we can do it for uh, a reasonable price. Right, we get our man Fredrickson for 25 million. Uh, he wants the crucial first team role and a bit of training. I think he's going to surpass Paul Crab anyway. 72 reactions there at the moment and uh, some pretty decent goalkeeping attributes. And nice to see one of our own here. Obviously, Pavlenka was here. Uh, no, Paul Crab was here when we uh, when we did rock up. Uh, what's his reactions at 76? So a little bit better, but uh, I've got a feeling that Fredrickson will be better uh, in the future. We'll check on his. Um, Potential later when we do a squad report. All right, opening game of the season here against Lyon, and we get a 2-1 victory. Elias knows how to find the goals. Right, here we go. Callum Griffiths, we've already seen him, uh, has been offered a, a, a position here with Napoli. And uh, Harold Nygaard has been approached by Leverkusen for 1.6. Let's go and have a look at Nygaard. And we're, gonna ha we're happy that Griffiths is moving, but uh, Nygaard we do want to have a look at. Right, Nygaard is a central attacking midfielder with five-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, uh, medium-low work rates, uh, some okay speed about him. Only 1.8 it's going to cost us. Um, I think that's not a bad move. Just a little bit of a backup player here and stop him going somewhere else. If Samsung want to get rid of him, I think he will fit in quite nicely here with those skill moves. Let's uh, see if we can pull him across nice and cheaply. Right, so we pick up Nygaard, 68 overall, and slip straight into the twos here. Uh, 84 sprint speed, 79 acceleration, good long shots and finishing. Uh, definitely will help us out here with the start five-star skill moves and uh, just starting to bolster this twos team. Right, you squad, monthly report. We've got a lot of forwards coming through. Eugenio Paz isn't going to make the cut anymore. We are going to release him. Uh, Lissandra Lasura, the right back, 78 to 94, looking okay. Uh, Yosef is very low on overall. I don't think he's going to make the cut. Uh, in fact, I am actually just going to release him. Uh, Carvajal, 83 to 89. Mancilla, 77 to 91. Campos, 89 to 94, uh, 57 overall. Uh, Campos, the left back at 74 to 90, and Harbour, 78 to 86, unfortunately, will be released. Right, interest is shown in Shakir Al Hindi from Hyundai, 6.9 million. Let's have a look at him. Right, Shakir Al Hindi is a central attacking midfield, centre midfield, centre forward, 71 overall, five star skill moves. Another quality little player here. Uh, good ball control and long shots. You know, he could definitely help us out. Um, but is it? Oh, we just signed a cam already. Do we want to really utilize all of our money just to, uh, you know what, I'm going to let him go. It's only to Hyundai, and we can sign him in the future if he becomes a star of the competition. Right, so August, there's four games. We'll uh, play the last one of the month here against Monarchus. Uh, obviously, the transfer window is still open, and we're looking to bring in some more players if possible. Only got about 12 million left, so we just need to be careful and really make sure that we're buying the right player if they do become available. Right, away from home, and we lose. 1-0. Damn it. Right here at home against Tigris, and it's a 2-0 victory. Away from home, it's a 1-1 draw. Brown with a goal, and Elias has missed the penalty. Right, transfer offer comes in for our 16-year-old in Seppel Vader from St. Mirren. We'll reject that. And interest shown in Connor Hall. 27.6 million. We don't have that amount of money, so he's pretty much going to make his way to Villarreal if they can get a deal done. Now, a quick look at Hall. He is a 79 overall left back. Would have been a very good acquisition. Uh, but we just do not have the coin to go after Connor Hall. So he'll make his move. And uh, if we have enough money in the future, maybe we can pick him up from Villarreal. Right, must be time for some gameplay. We're going to take on Monikas here. And Kourniakas is up to a 77. I am training in a little bit. Uh, Ferguson up to an 81. And the team is starting to prosper. Hopefully, we can pick up some points, get some form into this team, and they can now carry us through to a uh, finals campaign. Let's get into this game. Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Some more Mexican football for you. And uh, we need this team firing. I'm, I'm ready to move on. 
We've been here for a couple of seasons. We still fail to get a trophy as we try and build this team for the future. The international job offer is just not there. Uh, maybe we need a higher stature club to uh, get those offers in. I'm not too sure what's happening. It's just almost ridiculous. But let's get into this game. We've got a new goalkeeper in Fredrickson. And uh, hopefully we can find a few goals here with the big Sublaki Greek superstar in Korniakis. And here he is on the ball. Back inside, Elias looks inside for Cook, who gets it touched, but a good save from Malaga. From Russo, plays one forward, Cook makes the run, feeds it inside, here's Korniakis, there we go! Oh yes, the Sublaki sniper gets it, son, 1-0. Big, big move. Russo feeding it off to Cookie Monster inside, and well, serve it up with a shitload of garlic sauce. Bang! Fuck you, save that. 1-0. Here's the roost. She's on forward. A little bit of trickery and skill. Finds Korniakis. Oh, he's got two. He cannot be stopped. Oh, he's just breathing on them. It's that hot garlic sauce. Just get out of my way, you son. And they fall to the ground. And he's got two in 16 minutes. Oh, isn't this lad turning into something special here? And Sandos Laguna, Russo with a bit of trickery, feeds it through, and it's a lovely finish from the Suvlaki Sniper. Get in, son. 2-0. We're on a roll. There's Brown. And drive inside. And there is a strike. Oh, is this goalkeeper. He doesn't know how to play in the wind. We've got another goal. And this time it's Elias. It's 3-0. 20 minutes gone. And how many will we score today? Oh, lovely work from the Finn. A lovely run there from Patrick Brown. Just looked inside. Elias comes through, gets the finish, and this keeper has been hung out to dry by his defense. 3 0. Russo fires forward. Here is Kordiakis. He's already got two. What kind of skills has he got? Oh, no, not much. Good from Cork. Elias plays one through. Kordiakis! Oh, damn it! Just misses. And a first half hat trick. That one's picked off and probably there's the halftime whistle at 3-0. Oh, that is a ball and a half. That is a lovely ball. Ellis, has he got the cross? Cookie! Oh, wow, what is this keeper doing? It was a simple save. He doesn't know up from down at the moment. Oh, 3-0 up, let's make some changes here. Pavani Lamas, Savoyntis and Ray Segura check in for Patty Brown, Elias and Cook. Brown's definitely done his role today. We'll move Russo into that camp position. Niakis lays off. Santos Rodriguez. Here's the delivery. Sifuentes! Oh, no, he's caught offside. Fuck you, ref. It's a class piece of work, but yeah, he's just been pushed offside. That's a bit ballsy. Russo lays off. Bavani. Korniakis! Bang! Come on, son! Oh, yes! Big Solaki gets in. Gets his hat trick in the 90th minute. He came out like a ball's on fire and finishes the job here. The final nail in the coffin. 4 0. And uh, some lovely maneuverability there from Russo to Bavani Lamas to Korniakis. And into the back of the net for a 4 0 victory here. In the Mexican League. Lovely finish from the big brute. Gets in. And it's another really poor cross, to be fair. But there's the whistle. 4 0. And Savlaki does it again. Get yourself another game ball, mate. Racking him up in his bedroom. Well, that is an absolute massacre. 17 shots to two. And uh, Korniakis with a perfect 10. Right, scout reports are in from Mexico. Fausto Campos, 70 to 94. Hernan Segura, 71 to 94. Fabricio Luna, 55 to 75, 76 to 94. Another goalkeeper, but uh, 700 grand or so of valuation. We have to bring him into the academy. Right, we are here in Korea. We've got Han Young Mun, 66 to 92. We'll monitor further. And Sweden hasn't brought us back too much, but we've got Robert Gustafsson, 64 to 86. Interest shown in Brandon Lee. Uh, let's go and have a look at how Lee's traveling. Right, Brandon Lee, 69 overall. And, uh, you know, we used him a fair bit there at Wellington. Could definitely help us out a 69 rated centre midfielder. But, uh, you know, I'm happy with how the team is looking. I don't want to bring too many players in, so we'll let him move on. 
and uh, we'll monitor his progress if he's worth bringing in in a future scenario. We can always bring him to uh, another club. Right, interest is shown in Marco Davide Bendetti. Uh, let's go and have a look at him. It's transfer deadline day. Right, 73 rated left back. Uh, definitely could be someone to come in here and help us out. We've got two okay left backs though. Do we really want to spend the remainder of our money here? Uh, we've only got 12 million to play with and it's only uh, a loan deal. So I'm going to let that one go. Right, we've got a loan offer in here for Valentin Prado. 54 overall. If he can get some game time, we'll accept and see what happens. Right, September, let's have a look at this academy. Lasura is still looking all right. Carvajal, 83 to 89. Fabricio Luna, 63 overall, 79 to 94. We'll just let him marinate there a little bit in the uh, academy. Mancilla, 80 to 90. Campos, 89 to 94. And his brother um, is here at 74 to 88. He'll probably not make the cut, but we'll hold for now. We get the manager award of the month and Prado's low move was rejected. All right, September, here we go. We've got uh, five games here and um, a midweek game. So the reserves will be called into action in field. But uh, let's get through and play the last game of the month. All right, away here against Atlas for a 2-1 victory, though Broom has picked up an injury and it's a dislocated shoulder. He's out for two weeks. All right, we're here at home against Quitaro and uh, Okinomu gets his debut. And we get a 4-0 victory. Monterey away from home for a 1-1 draw. Home match here against Tijuana. We'll send the reserve team out for the midweek game. And we get a 3-0 victory, but Nygaard gets himself injured. Scout reports are back in from Mexico. Campos and Segura we're still monitoring. And we've got a new lad here in Jose Palacios, 71-94 to to monitor further. Back in Korea, Han Yun Man, 68-88. And we now have Chi Hu Hak, 71-94. And we're here in Sweden with William Person, 65 to 87, Simon Peterson, 66 to 88, and Robert Fredrickson, 73 to 94. We'll monitor these lads further. Nygaard's dislocated his shoulder. He's missing for two weeks. And it's time to get some more gameplay in here. We are going to take on uh, Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Oh, man. Names, me, just don't go together. But uh, Kuniakis at a 78 now. And uh, let's hope he can bang in some more fun today. Let's do this. Right, ladies and gentlemen, some more Mexican football for you. And the big Slovaki is up front today. He's the leading goal scorer in the competition now, apparently. So uh, let's see if we can smash in a few more here today and uh, really cement ourselves as the league title contenders now that we've uh, made a few changes. Got some uh, new players into this team. They are looking very, very good indeed. So let's get into this game and uh, see how many we can bang home. So donate. Oh, one forward. Oh, Russo's been hacked! Referee! Oh, and it stays in as well. Oh, really good work from Ainley. Gives it away, but goes back in. Lovely run here from Ainley. He'll play it forward, finds Cookie. Cuts back inside, Cookie. Still coming, Cookie. Lays it forward, Kodiakis! Oh, good save, Jimenez. Oh, Elias, you've given it back to him. Clear it away. Well, they're definitely applying pressure here. We aren't having an easy beat of it at the moment. It is very high pressure. Great save from Fredrickson. That is brilliant from the big Norwegian. And Brown with the clearance. There's ben Brown looking to assert himself in this game. Sedona, Cork, Moniakis. Can he find an opening this time? Oh, yes, he fucking can. Oh, that is sensational. Brilliant goal from the big Greek. Turning himself into a god here in the Mexican League. And you can see teams will be swooping in to try and take the services of this big unit. That was a superstar's goal. He just took it on. He is hungry for more. Brilliant finish. 1-0. Oh, they get one back. They've held possession and eventually they find a way through. It's 1-1 in the cusp of half time. Not a time you do really want to be conceding a goal. Celebrating in front of the home fans. Well, some just uh, really suspect defending there as the ball came in. Let's have a quick look here at the... Uh, yeah, it was Ainley not jumping. And a simple finish in the end. Makes it 1-1 just before halftime. You can't blame Fredrickson for that one. Really on the defenders. 1-1. There's the whistle for halftime at 1-1. Oh, that's lovely though. That is lovely. There's Cookie. Try to slip one through. Comes out the back, it falls to Elias. Oh, he's rather the crossbar. Back to Brown. 
Back to Cork. Back to Brown. The Kiwis combining here. Here is Brown. Takes the strike and it's a good save. We'll get a corner. Right, we'll make the three changes. Elias for Fuentes. Cook out. Russo to the middle. Ratsaguru in on the wing. And uh, we've also got rid of Brown for Fabani Lamas. Well, there's the whistle. It's a 1-1 draw. Well, eight shots to six. They actually outplayed us today. And we just could not get out of second gear. Uh, Korniakis there with a 7.9. Cook had an 8.2. Right, let's have a look at this youth academy. Lissandra Lassura has dropped to a 79 to 89. Carvajal 83 to 89. Luna 82 to 94. Mancilla 80 to 86. Not, not good enough. See you later. Uh, Campos 89 to 94. And his brother has dropped away and I'm going to release him as well. Right, let us do a squad report. Fredrickson has the potential to be special. 83 up 3 now. A hater and exciting prospect. 65 up 2. Rivera potential to be special. 71 up 2. And pool grab 82 up 1. A lot of goalkeepers. We might have to offload one. Uh, Ainley, 74 up 1. We're going to have to renew his contract. Sepulveda, 67 up 3. Harrison, 71 up 4. Uh, Oikonomo is uh, an exciting prospect. 73 up 1. One and we've got Barty 75, Pavlenka 73 up one, Santos Rodriguez 73 up one, Pavani Lama 72 up one, Dior showing great potential 64 up one, Sidone 75, Anderson 71 up two, Russo's an 81 up one, Luna 61 up two, no potential for Jose Luna. Uh, Patty Brown is a 75 up three, McCall 54 up two, Sepuente 77 up two, Nygaard has the potential to be special. Mate, these are good pickups. We didn't pay much for him. 70 up two. Cook is 76 up one. Dominguez is an exciting prospect. 60 up two. Elias 77 up two. Koniakis 78 up three. Ren Segura 75 up one. Bustos 56 up two. Prado 55 up one. Villava 68 up two. So this squad is turning into something magnificent. And uh, we've still got a, a bit of time here. Uh, but you can see this team is going to be something huge in the future. Make sure if you want to get any of their player upgrades, the ones that didn't have their shirts, you know, the one, this guy here, his shirt's tucked in. If you want to upgrade him, let me know in the comments section and we'll see if we can get that done in a future episode. Thumbs up, 10. Right, so we finished this episode off after 10 games. We sit top of the table, only lost the one, 21 points. So seven games remain until we hit the tournament. That'll probably be in the next episode. Hopefully you're enjoying this week of the journeyman. We will see you in the next episode. I'm Spraying DK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one. This video is powered by Neurotech and their product, Clarity. Now you can jump over to their website now, use the discount code DK10 for 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I highly recommend this product. I use it every single day. It increases your energy, your focus, while reducing fatigue and stress. If you wanna know how I get out all these videos and keep that work going, this is the product for you. So go and check it out. All the information that you need is on that website. If you feel like making a purchase, chuck in that discount code for 10% off. Now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.